What's up everybody, it's NS Yilmaz here and welcome to my channel. In this channel we tour some of the best properties in Los Angeles and today we tour this one. It is located at 8356 West 4th Street, 4 bedrooms, 4 full baths, 2 half baths, 6300 square feet listed for $4,950,000. Let's go check it out. Starting with the front of the property, we have a stucco finish pretty much throughout the entire property and we have a nice modern garage door for two car garages which we are about to check it out in a minute. And the other detail I want to talk about is this really cool overhang design that they have. Not to mention the second floor of this property is partially floating which is a really nice modern detail. Now let's go inside. As we open the front door, we go straight in to the living room area. So much natural light throughout the entire property and I love this couch staging that they did over here. Nice and circular, really grasped the room really well. You have a gas fireplace and you have a fixed window on this side but you have actually a nice pocket window Fleetwood on this side in case you want to get some ventilation out and if you want to go to the patio which we'll get in a minute. And of course you have your built-in speakers, recessed lighting on the ceiling. And another part that is really cool is that other side of this living room has this patio with again these pocketing Fleetwood doors. This is pretty intense. So now you almost doubled your living room size. So this deck extends out quite a bit which expands your living room area and it's actually a really nice space and just in case in the future people may want to put a TV or some sort of an entertainment here they've actually left some plugs that's a nice thought and when I walk to the other side of this deck we actually have a little bit of a drop here because we have a basement in this house and for that basement and for a, specifically for a bedroom they've left this access here which we'll get to it in a minute and before we keep going on the hallway I want to show you guys the garage which is really conveniently located right from the entrance as you guys can see it's pretty spacious up in here it's a two-car garage it's pretty sufficient for a home like this not to mention you have that driveway on front to kind of accommodate more parking and that's pretty much it now let's go check out the basement area So before we go into the basement, I want to acknowledge this window which is bringing a lot of natural light to the basement. That's one of the crucial points about basement and one of the most difficult parts to accomplish. The more natural light you can bring in, the better the space feels. So this window makes a huge difference. Let's keep going down. So now we're on the basement level and first thing is how massive this basement is. It's incredible. Uh, but why don't we start from the left? So we follow this hallway. First thing on the left is this half bathroom. I walk in, lights turn on, nice to the point. This floating vanity, but this one is quite high up there. So that's this, really floaty. This is really floaty. And the point is, someone is not gonna use this as their bathroom vanity. So it's just for here to serve the basement. That's why as long as you have the sink, that's all it counts. We have a nice little utility room on this side. More closet here. And now we're going into the screening room. And how cool is this? It's super cozy, kind of tucked in. It has no windows, which makes it really, really dark if you wanted to. Literally perfect setup for screening. Yeah, this is really nice. This is really nice, right? 
And of course, they didn't forget the most important part, which is someone is gonna put some sort of a projector or screening. That's why they left that box right up there. That's where you have all your wiring and all your electricity in case you wanna install something down the road for your taste. Moving on, off of the screening room, they have an office setup right here, which I gotta admit, chair is really cool. I like this glass desk and I have really cool backgrounds behind me. Uh, I don't even know what that is, but I feel good here. We're gonna explore what that is shortly. Or if any of you knows what it is, let us know in the comment section. And of course, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video so far. Make sure to subscribe to our channel because this is what we do every Monday, tour mentions. And if you have any questions, of course, as always, drop a comment because you will get a response from me. Moving outside of the office, we have a nice size pool table here and kind of another entertainment area. Needless to say, a lot of space in this basement. Are you, uh, are you much of a player? I am not. I kind of suck at this and I suck at a lot of sports. I'm really good at one or two, the rest I suck. Well, you're uh, good at windsurfing, obviously. I'm good at windsurfing, surfing, and motocross. The rest, trash. But, nice seating area right here and they kind of have this cool setup where it's kind of lifted for another two feet maybe, and you kind of have another area right there, which is kind of cool. I really like these two chairs over here, just kind of- Perfect conversation. You could sit there while you're having a party and just kind of, you know, have a cocktail and survey your domain. Or just people watch. That's right. And right next to that living room area is a nice bar setup. And it's kind of perfect to the point. You have your sink, you have your fridge, you have a lot of cabinetry, and then you have these floating shelves that you can, you know, put your glassware and all that good stuff. And Mikey, why don't you come close? This countertop looks incredible. I don't know what type of material this is. I'm gonna say maybe quartzite, but if any of you know what type of quartzite or marble this is, let us know in the comment section. So through these stairs, we go straight into the bedroom. And that's right, we have a bedroom on basement level. So if you guys recall, when we entered the property, there was a little bit of a drop, almost like a patio balcony setup. Well, that's right outside, right here. In order to qualify a bedroom that is in the basement level, you need to have a window, you need to have an access of exit. And as you guys can see, this window opens and you have a ladder there in case something happens that you wanna get out. Yeah. How thought out is that, right? So this bedroom also has its own bathroom. You guys can hear that quiet fan running, but nice, nice size walk-in shower, rain head. Really clean tile. Really clean tile. This is basically, they call these oversized subway tiles. You can really never go wrong with these. And in my opinion, they're timeless. They're good now. They were good back then. They will be good in the future. This bedroom also has a really good size closet. I actually like these setup, really open, really easy. You have your drawers, you have everything you need. And there's one more detail left in this basement, which is this really good size utility room. And a lot of times developers cheat on the utility rooms. They put a little sink and washer and dryer area, call it a day. Not this developer. He put so much cabinetry here, upper, and base cabinetry, still all really nice stuff. And you have more storage here, and you have this thing that is right below me. Guess what this is, Mikey? Sump pump. It is sump pump. We have a basement level. Once it rains, we have all this water that is sitting right next to the basement. Drain lines pick that water up, bring it to the sump pump, and sump pump pushes it back it's to like the It's like a bilge on a boat. Exactly. That pretty much wraps up our tour in the basement. Now let's go check out the kitchen area. Now we're back on the first floor and before we go to the kitchen area, we actually have a half bathroom right here. Pretty spacious. Yeah. That is for the living room area. I mean, really spacious actually. 
They have, it seems like all their vanities so far have been- Floating vanities. Floating, yeah. Well, the thing is when people are not using these as their main bathrooms, all you really need is a sink and some countertop space. So this actually makes the space feel much bigger and it's kind of easier to maintain and clean. So this is kind of a better option to go. Also, if you guys look down, this marble tile design that they have is super cool in my opinion. And now we're going back to the hallway, which leads us to the kitchen area. And we have our quartzite marble countertop with a waterfall edge, this island with a bar seating, square sink. Of course, every good modern home has these plugs that you can lift up. When you don't want all that eye clutter, you simply push down. Right behind my key, which will change positions, you have your recessed fridge. You have your built-ins right here. Of course, melee, of course, best of the best. And the other detail that I like that they did throughout the entire house, not just in kitchen cabinetry, but also in uh, closets upstairs, which we'll get in a minute, is this recessed finish. So they dropped the ceiling as low as they needed to in order to flush it with the cabinetry. This is part of the modern um, kitchen cabinetry design as well. We got a lot, a lot of cabinet space. Everything is of course soft closing. Nice vent tucked all the way to the top. And if you really want that sleek, clean design look, it's always the best to pick up a really nice countertop like this one and use it also as a backsplash, which is what they did. Uh, overall, great kitchen, kind of to the point. And this kitchen also not only has a dining room area, has a little bit more of a living room area as well, which is kind of the extension of this space. So we have the dining room area right here. Pretty good size. Kind of a nice location between the kitchen and this living room area that is off of the kitchen, which opens up to the backyard. Then off of this dining room, you have a nice living room sitting area here. And of course you have your recessed lights, speakers throughout. But I feel like if you live in a house like this, you end up spending most of your time here because it also opens up to the backyard. What do you think, Mikey? Most of the houses we've seen in West Hollywood feel like they're kind of, this, they don't have a lot of space to work with. And this one, they make a really good use out of the space. Like that basement was absolutely massive. There yeah. feels like so much space in this kitchen area and the living room area. If you want to get even more, you simply open these pocket doors all the way, which literally opens up your entire living room, your backyard, and I'm in. This is pretty insane. Check it out. All the way. All the way. How intense is this? And now that we have this open, let's go check out this backyard. Now that we're in the backyard, we kind of have this side section right here that opens up to the living room that we entered the property from. It's nice and a little kind of private on this side. This whole backyard is decked by this composite, the decking material, so it's pretty much rod resistant, will last a long time. And the decking continues from basically the living room in this area all the way to the right next to the pool. It's a pretty good sized pool considering the backyard while it's still giving you a lot of backyard space to work off of in case you have pets, in case you want to entertain a lot of people, you have the space. And of course, every good spot comes with one of these. You can simply turn it on, and then whenever you're ready to start your jets, you simply press. That's nice. Is it already hot in there? Yep. And the whole pool and the spa is also heated as well, which is a really nice detail. Guess what? LA does get cold, especially in winter, so it's nice to have this thing heated. As we follow this backyard, they staged this area as another ex uh, outdoor dining area, which is really nice. Same de decking material continues. Now we're on totally the backside of the lot. Right behind this fencing is the pool equipment. And normally I don't really show these in my videos, but this one is a little special. The reason I wanted to bring you guys out here is how well organized this pool equipment area is plumbing lines, everything is perfectly situated. Nice and easy access if you want to maintain it. And look at all the space they left here for you to work off of. 
This just shows how much developer is thinking stuff through for the longevity of the home. All the way to your heater, all your pool, your filtration systems, everything is here, easily accessible. And that pretty much wraps up the backyard section. Now let's go upstairs, check out all the bedrooms. So now we're coming up on the second floor. People who tend to buy these modern homes, they like their natural light. And you guys can see pretty easily how bright this home is thanks to these, all these windows that they installed. This one, that one that opens up to the master balcony, which we'll get in a minute. And this one right here brings actually significant amount of light to the whole landing of the second floor. We go this way to start with the bedrooms. On the way to your second biggest bedroom, you have a nice window right here that will allow you to peek to your backyard. And this bedroom, although it's not the master, it's pretty good size. I mean, let me give you guys a, some scale. Yeah, it's, it's at least, feels like probably 18 by 18 at least. At least. Nice, spacious, looks down to the backyard, all the natural light, your closet space right here. And once I get close to my key and we change positions, this is where you have your bathroom set up. The moment you walk in, lights turn on, good size walk-in shower, rain head, and they use the same oversized subway tile on this bathroom as well. Nice floating vanity. Just a pretty good, clean space bedroom that bring, gets actually a lot of natural light, which is really key for a property like this. Moving on. Moving on, we go to the other bedroom and we take a left right here. And here's the other bedroom. This is actually the smallest bedroom out of the three that we have on this level, but still a good size. In fact, they managed to fit two single beds here. I'm assuming they figured whoever buys it may have kids. I know you like those uh, handles on the cabinet. I love these. I don't like them. I love them. I, I, there's something about it. It looks sleek. It's, you know, although these cabinets are flat, it kind of gives it a little bit of a dimension and difference. I just like them. It's very beautiful. Beautiful. To all those people out there who says I say beautiful a lot because I'm an enthusiastic person and when I walk these properties, I just find them beautiful. I found them exciting. That's why we have this channel. And another walk-in shower, kind of similar design like the other bathroom. Uh, good size, natural light, checks all the boxes. Yeah. Let's uh, check out that master, huh? Let's do it. Well, welcome to the master bedroom. <laughs> It's incredible here. They have so much space in this house. So much space. And I mean, this is like a living room on its own, but. So guys, check it, check it out. We have, we have a full size couch here. We have two chairs. We have a uh, king size. size bed. We have Ennis and we can still throw a football in here if we want. We can have a 30 people party here, no problem. But it's kind of a nice detail. They have this pocket doors here. Again, all Fleetwood that opens up. In case people are in your backyard, you want to see this beautiful pool that you have from your bed, guess what? You can, because you deserve it. You own a home like this, you sure do. Again, the space talks for itself. Really spacious here. And on this door, we have the closet. And I know you guys haven't seen this master closet, but check it out. How incredible is this? Feels like a men's warehouse in here. Yeah, it's a nice store. It feels like you're in the store, but these cabinetries, hangers, and again, this is all customizable. You don't have to live with the way it is right now. The other detail that I like is this island setup that they have right here. Not only it has drawers, like this is where you put your jewelry, the things that you want to kind of present. Yeah, like they needed to make it marble. They didn't, but they just decided to, you know? Well, they were like, we're not gonna spare any expenses. So I uh, applaud them for that. And let's continue with the rest of the bedroom. So we're back into the bedroom area and look, these oversized glass and how much natural light it's bringing. Incredible in. outdoor space. We want to save that though. Yeah, we have a balcony out there, which we'll show you guys in a bit. But before we do that, let's check out the bathroom. So first thing I need to mention is marble everywhere. Marble in the shower, marble on the floors, marble on the backsplash of the vanity. Uh, no expense spared. They have the floating vanity design continue here. Every single vanity in this house is floating. They have the LED lighted mirror 
they have everything that you pretty much you need. So first thing that I want to specifically talk about is the shower because... Good looking rain head in there. <laughs> exactly. Good looking rain head in there. Me and Dennis are starting to be able to communicate real estate details without even speaking. We toured a lot of mansions, guys, and if you haven't seen it, just go to our YouTube channel. I mean, we've got a lot of videos down there. Give us a sub. Yeah, give us a sub. But you have your body spray here, rain head, just such a good space to be in. Yeah, um, I'd, lo I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to shower in there. <laughs> Another cool detail: oversized bathtub. They do have a bathtub. It's oversized, but they wanted to leave the glass. But they've actually they've actually fogged the section where your tub is for a little bit of an extra. Just a little bit of privacy, yeah. And that kind of pretty much wraps up our bathroom. So now let's go out to that next balcony that they have and master bedroom has its own balcony huge balcony yeah huge balcony let me give you guys a little scale this is kind of one section then you go down the stairs there's another and there's a nice heating area a lot of space here you can do a lot with this you know you can do a lot with this the other detail that i like is they have this epoxy glued flooring finish down here which makes it a nice walkable space, extra waterproofing for your roofing material. But here's the cool part. They've actually put the same material in a lot of places in the house, sections like that. Although you don't walk there, that's just an extra layer on top of the stucco finish, which gives you more longevity and waterproofing. That's a nice detail. I've seen it throughout the entire house. And with that said, guys, that's pretty much it. I wanna thank Jennifer Okabat, who we love. I want to thank her for allowing us to tour this mansion. I will leave her Instagram tag here and on the description below, I will leave her YouTube channel. So show Jennifer some love. Yo, go check, go check out her YouTube channel. She has a lot of really cool listings. She's a hustler. She works hard like me and Mikey and Trey. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give us a like. If you have any questions, drop us a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next Monday. <laughs> I probably look like an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. Dude, I would like just kick around a soccer ball down here. And Trey just totally forgot we were filming for a minute. Just yeah. walked, walked oh, right man. in my shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I would do with this? I'd put a ping pong table out there. <laughs>